Despite economic growth over the past 50 years, the quality of life for many Americans has declined. With growing global instability and socioeconomic challenges, several U.S. states are on the brink of collapse. Today we will discuss 10 states that are likely to collapse by 2024. These states face crumbling infrastructure, natural disasters, high unemployment and economic instability, creating compelling reasons to consider relocation. Let's dive in. Number 10. Rhode Island. Pro Rhode Island, the smallest state in the U.S., faces immense challenges due to its limited land and resources. Its tiny size leads to scarce housing and urban crowding, driving real estate prices sky high. The median home sales price hits a staggering $467,500, far above the national average. Rent is no better, with a one-bedroom apartment costing about $2,000 a month, putting financial strain on residents. Job opportunities are scarce, with the state's unemployment rate was 5.2% higher than the national average of 3.7%. This highlights the state's struggle to provide stable employment. Economic growth lags. Despite a budget surplus, Rhode Island could only operate for about a month without new revenue, according to the Pew Research Center. The state's per capita debt stands at $819, fueled by its high population density. The business climate is harsh, burdened by high taxes and strict regulations. In the year 2012, CNBC rated Rhode Island the worst state for business. The combined state and local tax burden is 10.4%, among the highest in the nation, with property taxes especially heavy at 1.63%. Rhode Island's infrastructure is crumbling. The American Society of Civil Engineers gave it a C- in the year 2021, citing deteriorating roads and aging bridges, with 23% deemed structurally deficient. Higher education is expensive, with public university graduates carrying an average debt of $36,400, much higher than the national average of $28,950. Climate change is a severe threat. Rising sea levels and frequent extreme weather events increase flood risks and coastal erosion, with coastlines receding one and a half feet annually. These dangers affect property values and overall safety, prompting residents to seek more secure locations. So, in your opinion, what is the most urgent problem that the state of Rhode Island needs to solve immediately? Housing costs or the impact of climate change? Please comment below and chat with me. Number 9. California California, once celebrated for its stunning natural beauty, now faces profound challenges. Earthquakes and major floods loom large, especially with the state sitting on the Pacific Ring of Fire. Critical dams like Whittier Narrows and Lake Isabella are in disrepair, threatening catastrophic damage if they fail. Over one million people could be affected, and economic losses could surpass $6 billion. The Whittier Narrows Dam, with its foundation issues, risks collapsing during heavy rains, potentially causing devastating floods downstream. In addition to earthquakes, heavy rains and melting snow make California prone to flooding. The mountainous terrain and poor drainage systems exacerbate the risk. The banking sector is also in turmoil, with major banks like Silicon Valley Bank collapsing, raising serious concerns about financial stability. For recent regulatory changes, such as the Economic Growth Regulatory Relief and Consumer Protection Act, have weakened banks, increasing the risk of economic shocks and instability. Environmental degradation and climate change add to California's woes. Groundwater overuse in areas like Cuyama Valley has led to severe water shortages. Climate change and prolonged droughts have worsened this crisis. Intense heat waves spike electricity demand, but the aging power grid can't cope, leading to frequent summer blackouts. Forest fires, fueled by climate change, are more frequent and severe, destroying homes, threatening lives, and causing widespread damage. California's high cost of living and housing costs make home ownership a distant dream for many, contributing to the nation's largest homeless population. Average rents in cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles exceed $3,000 a month. High taxes drive residents and businesses to states with lower taxes, 
while public debt exceeding $1.5 trillion strains future budgets and services. So New York City's intertwined risks are perhaps a complicated puzzle. Before exploring, if you could help me out, it just takes 10 seconds to hit that subscribe button. In return, we promise to continue making the show even better for you. Agree? Number 8. New York New York City, the vibrant heart of America, faces dire risks in the year 2024. Home to over 8 million people, this metropolis could become a nightmare during a crisis. Most residents lack self-sufficiency, as cramped living spaces offer no room for gardens. Despite being a cabbage production leader, the city would struggle with severe food shortages in a crisis, leading to desperation. Crime is surging, with major crimes up over 20% since the year 2022. In a full-blown crisis, law enforcement may be overwhelmed, spiraling into chaos. Political gridlock and economic instability worsen the situation, shaking public confidence. Financially, the city is in deep trouble. Household debt is skyrocketing, making it hard for many, especially the young, to secure credit or buy cars. Republic First Bank's recent bankruptcy has exacerbated this. High mobilization costs and a weak commercial real estate market are pushing many banks toward bankruptcy. Housing costs are crushing. Nearly 40% of households are overburdened, making New York the third most expensive housing market in the U.S. In the city, this jumps to over 43%. The highest income and wealth taxes in the nation force many to leave over 300,000 left in the year 2021 alone. Housing insecurity is severe, especially for Hispanic and Black households, with New York having the highest homelessness rate in the country, double the national average. Natural disasters compound these risks. New York faces high threats from storms, floods, and earthquakes. Its location in a geologically active area means significant damage could occur from earthquakes, especially with many buildings not meeting modern standards. Coastal storms and floods, intensified by climate change, make the city increasingly vulnerable. Efforts to mitigate these risks include building seawalls, improving drainage, and updating building codes. However, aging infrastructure and a dense population hinder these measures. Despite these efforts, large-scale disaster risks remain high. Vigilance and continued investment in prevention are crucial to protect the city from potential threats. Stay with me as we uncover the heartbreaking reality facing West Virginia. Number 7. West Virginia West Virginia is engulfed in a heartbreaking opioid crisis, draining the state of almost $100 billion each year. These funds are swallowed by healthcare, criminal justice, and the fallout from drug-related deaths and issues. Health in West Virginia is among the worst in the nation, with shocking rates of obesity and heart disease. Nearly 40% of residents are obese, and 14% suffer from heart disease. Many lack access to essential health care, leading to higher mortality rates and poorer health. Chronic diseases plague the state, straining the health care system and preventing stable employment and quality of life. Natural disasters, especially flooding, compound these struggles. Between the year 2010 and 2021, over 1,600 floods caused immense property damage and loss of life, with infrastructure unable to withstand such devastation. Recent legislative changes have made matters worse. Relaxed welfare and vaccination regulations threaten to worsen health and economic problems, while lawmakers are gridlocked and unable to implement effective policies. The decline of the coal mining industry has left West Virginia's economy in ruins. High unemployment and limited job opportunities haunt towns. Over 300,000 residents live in poverty, with 11 counties experiencing chronic poverty. The median household income is one of the lowest in the U.S., at $48,850, nearly $15,000 below the national median. The housing market also struggles. Despite home prices rising 7% in the past year, economic conditions and population decline affect housing demand and stability. Only 19% hold a bachelor's degree, or higher, far below the national average of 32%, limiting economic growth and opportunities. These interconnected crises, 
coupled with inconsistent political responses, threaten West Virginia's future. Urgent, comprehensive interventions are needed to secure a better future for its residents. Number 6. Illinois Illinois is sinking into a financial abyss, endangering its fragile higher education system. With the highest debt-to-GDP ratio in the nation at 122 percent, and burdened by steep property and income taxes, both individuals and businesses are fleeing the state. Public universities in Illinois now allocate 43% of their budgets to pensions, a dramatic rise from just 7%. This enormous pension obligation leaves little room for other costs, leading to tuition hikes, budget cuts, and declining student enrollment. The state is also grappling with one of the worst opioid epidemics in the country. In the year 2021, over 3,000 people died from drug overdoses, exacerbated by potent drugs like fentanyl. This crisis is overwhelming the healthcare system and creating numerous social issues. Illinois faces a major challenge with its shrinking population. In the year 2022 alone, the state lost over 100,000 residents to other states. This decline reduces tax revenue, causing budget shortfalls for public services and infrastructure, increasing the tax burden on those who remain. Economically, Illinois struggles with slow growth and a poor business climate, ranking poorly in business surveys due to high costs and regulatory challenges. Fiscal mismanagement, including a two-year budget impasse, has left the state's credit rating just above junk status. Underfunding of social services and infrastructure has led to deteriorating public services, with a C grade from the American Society of Civil Engineers for Infrastructure, Environmental disasters such as tornadoes and severe storms are becoming more frequent and severe, causing extensive damage and placing additional strain on an already overburdened system. The state also faces a brain drain. Many college students leave Illinois for more affordable education elsewhere and don't return after graduating. This trend has been going on for years, further depleting the state's population. Number 5. Connecticut Connecticut is grappling with significant challenges. As of the year 2024, the state's per capita debt exceeds $1,679. This financial strain is compounded by its high cost of living, with median home prices soaring to $318,000, far above the national average. Residents endure hefty taxes, with rates ranging from 5 to 7% making Connecticut's state and local tax burden the second highest in the nation at 12.6 percent. In stark contrast, neighboring New Hampshire imposes no personal income tax. Additionally, Connecticut's property tax rate surpasses 2 percent, placing further financial pressure on its citizens. Harsh winters add to the struggles, with temperatures frequently dipping below freezing in areas like Litchfield Hills receiving over 40 inches of snow annually disrupting daily life and transportation. The population is declining. Between the year 2020 and the year 2023, Connecticut saw a 0.2% decrease, threatening local economies, schools and public services. Despite its high-performing educational institutions, the state faces a skills gap that hampers workforce readiness, as noted by the Connecticut Association of Business and Industry. Aging infrastructure exacerbates the situation. In the year 2021, the American Society of Civil Engineers rated Connecticut's infrastructure AC, citing severe issues with roads, bridges, and public transportation. Addressing these problems requires significant investment, which remains challenging due to budget constraints. Number 4. Puerto Rico Puerto Rico faces a relentless storm of economic and social hardships, worsening in recent years. In the year 2022, the U.S. federal court intervened to to restructure the island's colossal $70 billion debt, which was 68% of its GDP. Despite an 80% reduction in debt, financial mismanagement and lack of new investments persist. High unemployment and low incomes push many families into poverty, compounded by scarce job opportunities and soaring living costs. Natural disasters like hurricanes, earthquakes, and floods frequently ravage Puerto Rico, destroying infrastructure, crops, and lives, making recovery arduous and expensive. 
Many Puerto Ricans have migrated to the mainland United States for better opportunities, leaving an aging population that strains healthcare and social welfare systems. The underfunded healthcare system, with lower Medicaid and Medicare reimbursement rates than the mainland, suffers a brain drain of healthcare professionals. Nearly one million residents risk losing health insurance due to Medicaid funding issues, exacerbating the crisis. Budget cuts have plagued education, leading to school closures and declining educational quality. Corruption and poor governance intensify Puerto Rico's struggles. Political scandals breed unrest and erode trust in leaders. Mismanagement wastes resources and hinders recovery. The Puerto Rico Oversight, Management, and Economic Stabilization Act PROMESA, enacted in the year 2016 to address financial issues, has yet to resolve all problems. The Puerto Rico Electric Power Authority's inefficiency and high costs remain a critical issue. Efforts to improve and privatize parts of the power system are slow and challenging. Reliable power is essential for economic stability and disaster recovery, yet the island's energy situation remains perilous. As devastating as Puerto Rico's economic, environmental, and social struggles are, the hardships faced by Louisiana echo similar themes of relentless natural disasters, economic inequality, and systemic challenges. Number 3. Louisiana Louisiana is a state under siege, battered by relentless hurricanes that grow fiercer with climate change. Storms like Ida have scarred homes and infrastructure, leaving communities in ruin. In Cancer Alley, an 85-mile stretch along the Mississippi River, residents face toxic exposure from industrial plants, leading to alarming cancer rates and severe health issues, including higher rates of low birth weight and preterm births. Adding to the turmoil, Louisiana's housing insurance crisis has spiraled out of control. After repeated hurricanes, many insurance companies have fled or gone bankrupt, causing premiums to skyrocket. The average home insurance cost far exceeds the national average, straining families financially. Efforts to attract new insurers have largely failed, forcing many to rely on the state's expensive last resort insurance, which often provides inadequate coverage. Economic inequality is stark, particularly in Cancer Alley, where industrial benefits bypass the poor, amplifying health risks and social disparities. Chronic health problems and inadequate health care hinder disaster recovery, especially in low-income, predominantly minority communities. Their political powerlessness further hampers efforts to advocate for better living conditions and resilience. Despite recent labor market growth, Louisiana's economy is faltering. Over 10% of mortgages are underwater, the highest rate in the nation, signaling deep housing market distress. The state's financial reserves are precarious, capable of sustaining operations for just over three weeks. Poverty is rampant, affecting 19% of the population, second only to Mississippi. Northern Louisiana suffers the most, with a poverty rate of 40%. The gap between rich and poor is the largest in the nation, despite the presence of some wealthy individuals. Educationally, Louisiana struggles, with only about 20% of students meeting acceptable standards. Despite increased spending, the state remains near the bottom in national rankings, though some colleges stand out as centers of excellence. Natural disasters, especially hurricanes, relentlessly batter Louisiana from June to November, causing immense property damage, flooding, and displacement resulting in significant mental and financial hardships. Coastal erosion, worsened by rising sea levels, threatens communities, the economy, and the region's unique culture. Efforts to combat these issues, such as coastal restoration projects and levee systems, face immense challenges. Number 2. New Jersey New Jersey is on the brink of financial collapse. It has the highest rate of unfunded debt in the United States exceeding 20% of its total personal income. This crushing debt hampers the state's ability to fund essential services and handle emergencies. In a desperate attempt to fix its budget, New Jersey borrowed even more, deepening its crisis. Residents already face some of the nation's highest property and sales taxes, making everyday life increasingly difficult. Housing costs are another major issue, with the median home price around $400,000, 
making home ownership out of reach for many. This lack of affordable housing adds to the financial stress, pushing residents to consider moving away. Healthcare is also in dire straits. New Jersey has one of the highest maternal mortality rates in the country, with 38 deaths per 100,000 births, ranking fourth nationwide. The situation is even worse for black women, with a rate of 102 deaths per 100,000 births. These alarming figures highlight severe healthcare challenges. Despite investments in renewable energy, New Jersey still relies heavily on natural gas, making its energy infrastructure vulnerable, especially during emergencies. Densely populated coastal areas face significant risks from natural disasters like hurricanes and floods, which are becoming more frequent and severe due to climate change. The state is also grappling with a public health crisis from fentanyl and other drug abuse, putting immense pressure on the healthcare system and complicating crisis response. New Jersey's social safety net is at risk of collapsing, potentially leading to widespread panic and social unrest. As we delve into the heart of Mississippi's struggles, let's uncover the alarming reality facing another region grappling with both economic and environmental crises. Number 1. Mississippi. Mississippi is drowning in financial despair. Nearly one in five residents live in poverty, unable to meet basic needs. Jobs are scarce, and income levels are abysmally low, with a median household income of around $45,000 far below the national average of nearly $69,000. This glaring gap underscores the pervasive economic struggle. Healthcare is in crisis. Mississippi holds the highest infant mortality rate, with pregnant women facing critical health issues and rural hospitals shutting down from lack of funds. Over 10% of the population remains uninsured, and without Medicaid expansion, access to care is severely limited. Education is also a battleground. Only 23% of adults have a bachelor's degree or higher, and poor K-12 outcomes trap residents in a cycle of socioeconomic disadvantage. Quality schools are a rarity, leaving many without the skills needed for modern employment. Natural disasters like hurricanes and floods wreak havoc, displacing families and destroying homes. The state's infrastructure is crumbling, earning a D-plus rating from the American Society of Civil Engineers for its deteriorating roads, bridges, and water systems. Population decline, driven by migration, reduces the workforce and tax base, compounding the state's woes. Political instability and deep racial and economic divides further complicate governance and social unity. Without substantial intervention and reform, Mississippi's future looks bleak. Can anyone still bear to live here? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to the Discover Globe channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring. Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching and see you in the latest video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.